Hello children, welcome to another session of children's liturgy. This is the fifth Sunday of Easter. The theme for this week is Love One Another. Let us listen to the Gospel reading. When Judas had left them, Jesus turned to his apostles and said, It will soon be time for me to leave you, my friends, and you cannot come where I am going. When I have gone, I want you to love each other as I have loved each one of you. If you live by this rule, other people will see your goodness and love, and they will know that you are my disciples. In today's Gospel, Jesus was at the Last Supper with his close friends. He knew what was going to happen, that he would be going away to suffer and die for us. He had so many things to instruct and share with his friends. He wanted to comfort them before he went away. What did he say to them? What does he say to us today? Let us imagine that your form teacher is going away for her course. Teacher Shannon will be away from your class for the next few lessons. Other than assigning the class projects and worksheets to do, what do you think she will say to the class? She will instruct her class to behave whilst she is away. She will also tell her class to continue to be kind to one another to help one another even when she is not in the class with them. Today, Jesus is leaving us with the same instructions. We no longer see Jesus in this world, but He is with us. He wants us to remember to continue to love others, to continue to help others, to continue to be kind to everyone, even when he is no longer physically with us. What will he ask you to do today? In the movie The Secret Life of Pets, the pets must learn to work and live with one another when their owner is not with them. How did they do it? They had to put aside their own fears, insecurities and anxiety. They have to trust in their owner and know that their owner would want them to behave when she is not around. They learn that when they fight and do not love each other, they lose. The pets learn that they need to love and forgive one another. As they all belong to their owner, Katie loves each and every one of them. What about us? How do we show others that we are followers of Christ? We do this by following the commandments, which are important. We show others we are followers of Jesus by attending weekly Mass and saying our prayers regularly. We do that to bring ourselves closer to God. In today's Gospel, Jesus gave a farewell message to his disciples and to us. He wants us to continue to love others even when we no longer see him. I should not just love people whom I like or people who are friendly to me. Today, I am asked to love others as Jesus loves. Even in teacher Shannon's absence, she wants her class to continue to work hard for their studies, to pay attention in class, and to help one another out, even when she is not with her class. Even in owner Katie's absence, she wants her pets to love and accept each other, even those who are different from them. How do we love others as commanded by Jesus. How do we show love to others as followers of Jesus? Let us show that we are followers of Jesus by using this acronym, 
L-O-V-E, love. L, listen. Listen carefully to what someone is saying to you today. The person could be your grandparents, your parents, your siblings, your teachers. Listen to what they teach you. Your parents are telling you to stay healthy by drinking more water and eating less junk food. Are you listening to them and trying to follow their advice? Today, your grandmother is repeating her story about herself when she was younger. Listen to her patiently. O. Offer. Offer to help someone, even when he or she does not ask you to do so. Offer to help your teacher carry the books. Offer to help your classmate who is weaker than you in an academic subject. You see a pile of clothes that has just been washed. Offer to fold them without waiting for your parents to ask you to do so. V. Value the blessings you have received. Say thank you to someone who has helped you, who has been bringing you to school every day. It can be your helper auntie, your grandparents or your parents. Show them that you value their help by thanking them every day, starting today. Start the habit of saying thank you to the person who prepares your meals for you and eat the food without complaints. E. Encourage someone today. You notice that your friend is looking worried today. Encourage him not to give up. Say a little prayer for him. Your sibling is looking sad because she has not done well for her test. Encourage her by writing a little note. Tell her not to give up trying. There are many ways to show love to people around you. At home, in school, in your neighborhood. Remember to show love, L-O-V-E, today and every day. Show that you are a follower of Jesus by spreading His love to all around you.